on behalf of mendior gk and parent company prepq i manish kane welcome you again to this edition of current affairs and we have been out of action for the last 7 days and some of you messaged us some of you whatsapp me so do not worry whatever you have lost or we have lost in the last 7 days will be recovered in the next 10 days at a certain rate so as always we will discuss questions related to current affairs and questions which appear in government exams or which might appear in some of the mba entrance exams where current affairs is relevant the date today is 10th may 2019 and we will discuss questions which are related to 10th may or a certain period before 10th may let us go to the first question who has won the outstanding achievement as a player award at the fourth edition of annual india golf industry association awards the correct answer is gaganjit bhullar so he is an indian golf player gia awards that is golf industry association awards along with igte and india golf and turf expo is south asia's largest golf show gaganjit bhullar is the youngest golfer on asian tour to win nine career victories on a tour about indian golf union the main body in india which looks after the sport of golf is known as indian golf union it has been in news of late because it was declared the elections of golf union were declared void so the president currently of indian golf union is lieutenant general d anbu the headquarter is in delhi and last year as i told you ministry of youth and sports affairs de recognized this body in 2018 in april 2018 to be precise and temporarily every 3 months the body the, the ministry is extending the recognition for this body so it has been de recognized because the indian golf union has not adhered to the national sports code so they have to hold elections in time and these elections have not been held and therefore the ministry de recognized the body next question environmental lawyer fighting palm oil industry alfred brownwell brownell one goldman environmental prize 2019 to which country does he belong so alfred brownell who is the goldman environment prize winner for the year 2019 he belongs to liberia now liberia is a western african country and this lawyer has been fighting the local palm oil industry which was supposed to be responsible for a lot of deforestation in the country now since this particular palm oil industry is government supported uh he is had to face issues in his own home country so he was awarded the goldman environment prize 2019 so he's been living outside liberia alfred brownell has been living outside liberia since 2016 and he's been fighting palm oil industry to prevent tropical forest destruction and he has filed a case against the government supported company golden veroleum liberia and liberia as i told you is a country in western africa whose capital is monrovia and the currency which is in used in liberia is the dollar next question bvp rao has resigned from which sports governing body recently the correct answer is archery association of india a few days back delhi high court had appointed mr qureshi sy qureshi to be precise as the administrator for archery association of india now mr qureshi he introduced a few amendments to the constitution of archery association and these amendments were declared null and void by the supreme court and because the elections were also held under these amendments in which mr bvp rao was uh, elected so these elections were held null and void and therefore bvp rao had to resign from his position so fresh elections to aai that is archery association of india will be announced within 4 weeks next question which country recently pledged pound 4 million support to global 
anti slavery projects it should be actually euro 4 million uh, support so the correct answer here is britain so slavery still exists in the world in various forms and it is assumed expected that around 21 to 40 million people are affected by modern slavery so modern slavery can be categorized in many ways first is chattel slavery or slavery by descent under this the slaves are treated as personal property of the owner and they can be sold they can be inherited and so on then we have government forced slavery or conscription where government forces people to work in a particular area for a particular period like in israel everybody has to work and serve for the army compulsorily for a period of four to five years and this particular process is known as conscription is also treated as a form of slavery then prison labor and bonded labor another form of slavery and sex slavery so to these causes britain has pledged euro 4 million to support against global uh, to support in favor of global anti slavery uh, slavery projects next question which indian shooter has attained world number 1 position in 10 meter air rifle the correct answer is apurvi chandela she has had a record score recently she belongs to jaipur and she has already got an arjuna award for shooting uh, the latest ranking of international shooting sport competition rates her as world number 1 after she had a record score of 252.9 points to clinch gold at the indian at the international shooting sport federation world cup in delhi so issf stands for international shooting sport federation so the world number one in 10 meter air rifle apurvi chandela next question the football writers association has named which football player as the 2019 footballer of the year the correct answer is raheem sterling who belongs to the united kingdom or great britain so he plays for the england national team and he also represents uh, under the leagues he represents manchester city league next question who has been nominated by Hockey India for Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award? The correct answer is the goalkeeper of the Indian national team and the captain P.R. Srijesh. So he belongs to Tamil Nadu as I told you he is the goalkeeper of the Indian national team he is also the captain and under the leagues hockey league he plays for UP Wizards. Next question which rule under the conduct of election rules lists out a six month jail term and a rupees thousand fine for falsely reporting malfunctioning of EV, EVMs and VV pads. The correct answer is rule 49 MA. Now this has been in news recently because the Supreme Court has sought election commission's response on a plea which has been placed before the Supreme Court which wants the striking down of one of the provisions of the election rules and the provision is if an elector files a complaint against malfunctioning of EVMs and VV pads and if the complaint is found to be false then the person who is the complainant that is the person who has filed the complaint can be penalized can be punished to an extent of a six month jail term or rupees thousand. So obviously this rule was in place that is 49 MA was in place to ensure that there are no frivolous or faulty reports of malfunctioning of EVMs and VV pads. So it is for the Supreme Court to decide whether this rule is right or not right within the frameworks of our constitution. Next question. Which is recently the revised customs duty by on wheat by central board of indirect taxes and customs cbic the correct answer is 40 percent so this customs duty has been raised recently from 30 percent to 40 percent the idea is since this year we are expecting a bumper crop of wheat to around 100 million tons last year i think it was around 85 or 87 million tons of wheat production now when we have a bumper product production we don't want the prices of wheat to decline and therefore this customs duty has been raised to ensure that the import of wheat does not become cheap or cost effective. Now you also must know and a lot of times lot of questions or a lot of exams they will ask you such questions that 
wheat is a rabi crop and rabi crops means the crops which are sown in winter and harvested in spring winter as in november december harvested around uh, april or you know starting of may so some of the important rabi crops are wheat barley gram mustard and peas similarly there are kharif crops like raf, uh, rice and these crops are sown in monsoons and harvested just before winters that is october november and rice is one of the primary kharif crops in india and you should also note one more important thing and that is india is the second largest wheat producer after china very important fact next question iit madras develops an easy ocr system for reading documents in bharati script containing with how many indian languages bharati script comprises nine indian languages ocr means optical character recognition so this enables an online software to read an online document or by recognizing the relevant characters so bharati script has nine indian languages which languages these are the languages devanagari bengali gurumukhi gujarati oriya telugu kannad malayalam and tamil gurumukhi means the punjabi is written in gurumukhi script next question where did the run to vote mini marathon was organized to encourage voters the correct answer is leh so it was organized by the nodal officer of leh in the presence of the brand ambassador of jnk election authority sanadwa sanadwa was incidentally uh, runner up of the miss india competitions in 2017 i guess next question who has won the sokar azerbaijan grand prix 2019 the correct answer is valtteri bottas sokar stands for state oil company of azerbaijan republic so in this grand prix valtteri bottas has won and let us take a look at azerbaijan on the map here it was a former ussr uh, part and here we have india we can see azerbaijan bordering iran and georgia here the capital city of azerbaijan is baku the currency in use is manat and the president is ilham aliyev next question which asian country is planning to relocate its capital city the correct answer is indonesia although to which city they are relocating has not yet been mentioned or had not has not yet been finalized next question the new banknote of rupees 20 which is recently been issued by rbi has a motif of dash on the reverse so motif is basically like an image depicting the country's cultural heritage the correct answer here is elora caves so the new di the dimension of the new 20 rupee banknote is 63 mm by 129 mm next question on which day ayushman bharat divas is observed the correct answer is 30th april 2030th april every year and that brings us to the question of the day the two questions are on which day is the ayushman bharat divas observed second question which rule lists a jail term for falsely reporting evms and vv pats so please answer these two questions in the comment section given below i always await your feedback and your suggestions to improve these sessions they are always welcome please mention suggestions if any in the comment section that is given below if you are a cad aspirant you can log on to myprepq.com and take a look at these three wonderful courses for cad preparation cad comprehensive online prep qa comprehensive prep di lr comprehensive for free resources we have mend your math mend your reasoning and mend your gk.com in case you are looking for some career related advice please contact me on this number on whatsapp and i'll be more than happy to help you that is all for today thank you very much and as i said we are back in action from today so now you will once again receive these regular updates on current affairs every day